everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another pin unboxing for you guys. This one is uh, very exciting because it are Hong Kong pins and I ordered these from a pickup service on Instagram. Uh, the page is called Lala Disney Store. I will post a link down below because that service is amazing. They're very friendly, they're very quick uh, with picking the pins up and with chipping them out and I really love it. Uh, it was the second time that I ordered there um, and this time I ordered these lollipop pins. So I already saw a lot of videos of people unboxing them. They never had a box of my own. And now I do. I already have the Oswald pin. The, yeah, this one. I got it in a trade once. So I don't hope I have that one. But further than that, I really like all of them. But we will get into that later. I also bought this new box which has a very cute pins. So these are the ones you can get. And let's dive into it. Maybe we will start with this one because I'm most excited about this one and we'll keep that until um, the end. So this one is a tin box. Which is very cute. Oh, they're not in blind bags. <laughs> so I should have known that. But I already saw the first pin, which is very cute because I don't have that one yet. But let me first take a look which ones I would like the most. Uh, I really love the Marie one. I think that's the most adorable uh, pin. I also really like Alice. The green alien is cute. Uh, I love Mike and Sully. I love the Duffy and Fruff. I love all of them. Like I said, as long as I don't have Oswald, I'm happy because I already have that one. So let's see. The first pin I saw, I still see, is Duffy. So here we go. So it's cute little Duffy. And like I already know from the Oswald pin I had, these pins are very big. Put it out there. There we go. There's also a little bit uh, of glitter in there, which is uh, very cute. So this is the Duffy pin, very nautical, but very cute. So my Duffy and Friends collection is definitely growing. <laughs> then the second pin I see is a lot of... Oh, there we go. So there's lots of... Like I said in my previous video, I'm going to the Toy Story Play Days uh, at the end of the month. Well, end of June. And I think I'm going to wear this on my lanyard. It's a very beautiful pin. Then we go to the next one. And that's Sally. I really like Monsters Inc. It has a lot of uh, funny humor in there. And I also really like the attraction in Disney World. Uh, what's it called? I don't remember what's it called, but the one where they have to make you laugh so they uh, can get their electricity. I really liked that one. On my first trip, I actually was picked as one of the people they were making fun of. And I really liked it. It was very special because it was my first trip. And immediately you get picked out or something like that. So that was very fun. And here we have Sully. James B. Sullivan. Then we have two more pins and they are two kitties. And the first one is the Cheshire Cat, which is really beautiful and I think has the most glitter. Oh, that one easy. The most glitter so far. This is a very beautiful pin. So this is the Cheshire Cat one. A lot of the purple colors and glitter. Very cute. And then the last one is my favorite because this one is the Marie pin. Yes, there we go. So this is definitely the most beautiful pin of the five. Oh, there we go. Beautiful pin. If it wants to stay at the same side. I really love the color scheme on this. So it's baby blue 
and baby pink and then oh there we go again and then Marie is white <laughs> she doesn't want to there we go this is definitely my favorite one it's so adorable like I said I really love the color scheme and I love the the, the glitter in the back very beautiful so I'm happy with all these pins I think of these I only really have a least favorite one I like all of them. I think if I would really have to pick my least favorite one, it would be the Sully pin. But still, I love it. He looks very, um, very confident. Now that I take a second look, it's kind of funny that his nose and his eyebrows are so green. But that's cool. I don't remember it being like that in the movie. But that's cool. <laughs> and then I also see like this little. Um, little list where you can see which pins are available and which one you already have. So I have number uh, one and six from this side and then from the other side I have nine, ten, thirteen and fifteen. So I really like these pins. I love that they come in a tin box as well. Let me put them back in here, and then we go to this box. So I saw this um, on her Instagram page, and I loved the designs. They're so adorable. Um, I think my favorite ones are the Dumbo one, the Bambi one. I love Figaro and Jiminy Cricket, of course, and the Michael one is very. Michael Darling is very cute as well. So Michael, and we have Peter, and we have Tinkerbell. Then we have, oh, what's his name? Michael and... I don't know, I will have to look it up again, I forgot his name. Then we have Wendy, we have Nemo, we have Chibini Cricket, Figaro and Pinocchio. Then we have Dumbo, Thumper and Bambi, Simba and Timon and Pumbaa. So, very excited. This also contains five uh, pins in each box. There we go. Oh, these are, these are in blind bags, so that's more surprising. Let's see which one we have. Another map in here. So, once again, all the Available pins. <laughs> Timon is looking really happy. And let's see which ones we have. Ooh, these, these feel really big. That's cool. Of course, they all have like Kind of the same shape, so I'm not even gonna bother to feel <laughs> which one it is. Let's move it open and oh my god, it's Peter Pan! This is so cool. Once again, there's like this little it's not that sparkly, but it's actually it is glitter. So we have a very happy, cute little Peter Pan with a glittery, glittery orange background. Very cute. Like I said, they're quite big. The quality is really nice on these pins. Then we have the next pin. Let's rip it open. Ooh, it's Figaro! How adorable is this? Look at the little fella. I never know if, if like Figaro of Geppetto and Figaro of Minnie Mouse is like... Is it the same? cat or is it just a coincidence? I, I actually don't know the history about that. But I'm guessing because this one is standing between uh, Jiminy and Pinocchio on the box that this one is Geppetto's uh, Figaro. And he's so cute. Look at that. And we go to the next one. Let's rip it open. There we go. It belongs to my Peter Pan one, 
It's not Michael Darling, but it is Tinkerbell. She's also very cute with a uh, sparkly purple background. I love her uh, blushy cheeks as well. Very cute. The last two pins. Go. I have like sets, like I have Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, and now I have Figaro and of course Pinocchio. So Pinocchio is very cool. Hi, digital TG. I have just like for me. <laughs> he also has these. Oh, Peter Pan also has the blushy cheeks. That's cute. And then the last one. Let's hope for one of the ones I really wanted. Like Dumbo, Bambi, Jiminy or Michael. But I think, let me feel. I don't think... It's not Bambi because I don't feel the ears. It's also not Dumbo because I don't feel the ears. Let's just see who it is. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh, it's Simba! Okay, he's cute as well. <laughs> this is adorable. And actually this is very handy because um, in July there's this uh, festival, I also I always say it wrong, the festival of the Lion King and the Lion King and Jingle Festival? I think that's the, the correct order, the Lion King and Jingle Festival. Uh, it's about uh, the Lion King, which exists 25 years, of course. And they also included the Jungle Book, because why not? And they're doing some amazing sh shows and amazing stuff uh, during that period, end of June until, I think, somewhere at the end of September. So I will actually attend it a couple of times. The first time will be beginning of July, because I wanted to go as soon as possible after it started. And this is a perfect thing to wear them, because, of course, it's Simba, who's the king of the jungle. This is great. So I loved all of my 10 new pins of Hong Kong. I don't think I will trade any of them. That's really a problem with me, like I always love all the pins I get and then I buy them with the, with the meaning of trading them if I don't like them, but I always end up liking all of my pins. I don't think I'm the only one on that matter. Um, so once again, uh, Lala Disney Store is a very great service. I will post um, the link down below in the description. And if you ever want pins from Hong Kong, go uh, visit her page. This is an amazing service. Thank you so much for these pins. Uh, I will definitely uh, be back soon to buy other pins. And my ears are not working with me today. <laughs> I will definitely come back to buy some other pins. And I will open them again for you guys. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, put a thumbs up or put it in the comments down below which one was your favorite pin. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, you can do so now if you like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!